So what's really causing your high blood pressure? In this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons why your blood pressure is high, and number three is probably gonna shock you. My name is Dr. Story. I've been in practice for over 25 years. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, blood pressure is a major problem, and the reason why is because blood pressure can give you heart attacks and strokes. Those are two things you do not want. So let's just get right into it. Number one, genetics. Unfortunately, the pliability of our arteries is determined largely by genetics. And some people have a normal blood pressure their entire life. They could smoke cigarettes, they could do drugs, they could eat crappy food, they could do everything wrong, and yet their blood pressure stays normal. Why? Because of genetics. Also, some people, they've just lost the lottery. At 20 years old, they can have significant high blood pressure. It's not that they necessarily had a bad diet or were doing anything wrong. It's just the luck of the draw with genetics. You really can't do anything about your genetics, so that's why if you have high blood pressure at a young age, it's even more important that you do these next other things. The second reason why you may have high blood pressure is because you are doing a lot of things that cause your blood sugar to go up. If you have a high stressed life, what's going to happen is your brain is going to cause an adrenal gland to secrete more cortisol. High cortisol levels will increase your glucose levels in your body. In addition to that, a diet that is very crappy will also increase glucose in your bloodstream. This leads to a condition called type 2 diabetes. Now, who cares? Why, why do we care about this? We're talking about high blood pressure. Well, when your blood sugar is high, the actual glucose molecules damage the inner lining of your arteries. As your inner lining of your arteries become damaged, then the arteries become stiffer. If you're trying to push blood through an artery that's now stiffer, your blood pressure is going to go up. So a diet high in sugar, a diet high in processed foods is going to be very, very bad. A stressed life is going to be very, very bad. There's an old saying that if you eat a lot of food out of a box, then you're gonna quickly end up in a box. And I always like that statement. So what diet should you follow? Should you follow a vegan diet? Should you fo follow a vegetarian diet? Should you follow a caveman diet? Should you follow a paleo diet? Should you follow a zone diet? Should you follow an Atkins diet? Atkins diet? There are numerous diets out there. The one thing they have in common, despite their differences, are that they all believe that you should not eat processed foods. So again, anything that you can buy that's in a box is likely going to put you in a box. I always like that statement. So because of the controversy of diets, why don't you tell me in the comment section down below what you believe the best diet to be for high blood pressure. Now there's many people that are going to start their statements with it's irrefutable and there's so much evidence and there's been research. Yeah, we know, because all these diets have had irrefutable data. But let us know in the comments section what you believe is the best diet. Now number three may surprise you and it shocks most people. And by the way, before I let you know what number three is, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and let me know that you're watching these videos. Don't give me a thumbs down, I'm giving you great information here. So number three, actually, to be honest, I really don't care if you give me a thumbs down. It doesn't make any difference. Um, so number three, what is number three? Age. As you get older, it's likely that your blood pressure is going to go up. It's a natural thing. It is so unrealistic to think that at 85 years old, you're gonna have the same arteries that you did when you were born. It's extremely unlikely to think that, but yet many people think that they can outdo age through their diet. Diet has a tremendous effect, but you simply cannot stop the aging process. One of the challenges is that when people age, 
their diet has more time to take effect. So if you have a crappy diet at a young age and you're already suffering with high blood pressure in your youth, meaning your 20s and 30s, the aging process isn't going to help you. So that's why it's so concerning when young people have high blood pressure. Now you can't stop the aging process, but you do, if you're young, have the advantage of changing your lifestyle such that the aging process is not accelerated by your crappy lifestyle. So if you'd like some more information regarding how you can affect your blood pressure, I'm gonna put a link down here of some drinks that you can make at home, do it yourself types of things that will significantly affect your blood pressure. I'm also gonna give you a very tasty recipe for a smoothie that has a lot of nitrates in them which help lower our blood pressure and I'll put that down right there for you.